Okay, someone wants to know about the, how to solve the low voltage batteries communication problem today. Welcome to Thailand's Technical Support Center. We often re receive feedback on problems with communication failures during the connection of battery to inverter installations. So let's see how we can solve the problem of low voltage battery communication failures today. Firstly, how to judge whether the communication is successful or not. Usually, we judge whether the battery is working properly by its normal current, voltage, and SOC. First, check the BMS information on the inverter set and confirm that the communication is normal. The BMS data, for example, voltage, current, and SOC, is sent from our battery to the inverter, and you can use this information to troubleshoot communication problems. When the battery communication abnormal, the most common problem for the battery side of abnormal light. For different batteries, such as DL5.C, communication abnormality is the SOC light and run light together with flash green light. Powerbox G2, public D-type LEDs emit yellow light. The following three reasons generally exist. First, deep dialing code has not been set correctly. For example, the correct dialing code has not been set according to the instruction manual, or the default dialing code has been changed. For DL5.0C, the SOC light and the run light will flash together. Second, the deep switch has not been set in the power off state. The new deep dialing code has not been taken effect, so it will still flash together. The solution is to turn off the battery power, reset the correct responding dialing code according to the product use manual, and restart. The network cable between the battery and the battery is used incorrectly, resulting in communication failure. The solution is to refer to the product instruction manual and follow the wiring connection guidelines. And now the SOC light and the run light is flashing normally. Dyne's batteries feature charge or discharge over current protection, with current limits varying by sock and temperature. The battery itself does not limit the charging and discharging power. The battery responds to the charging and discharging requirements of the inverter. If the battery's charge and discharge current limitation is correct and the abnormality still occur, please consult the inverter manufacturers. Well, this is about the solution of low voltage battery communications failure. Hope it can help you. For more help, please contact our technical support team. Thanks for watching this troubleshooting video. Follow Dennis for your energy future. Bye.